everything about the uh the fact that when you open this menu up it slows down time it doesn't actually like pause the game for you it just makes it super slow and like the sounds and everything warp because of the slowness Sorry, sorry, so glove. Okay. There you go. Just check real quick if there's anything we want to get super greedy and try and get. Alright. Kind of got caught on some terrain on the way there, but uh, we're good. You made Nailed it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Let's get him back. Overall chaos, the current total is high, but you can see I only killed two hostiles and only one alarm was rung. That was, that was pretty good on that particular level. And I robbed Pratchett's safe. Robbed him blind, yo. Let's continue onward. There were also Sokolov paintings. I did find the Outsider Shrine. Four out of five runes. That was actually one of my better levels. I think that's probably my best performance on a level so far. In terms of, you know, stuff like stealth and whatnot. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. From what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. <laughs> Samuel gets drunk and passes out a lot. Samuel. Sorry, I pronounced that really weird. Samuel! A little bit more Latin. Latin flavor in my pronunciation. Well done, Colonel. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge oh, will enable you. us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a title. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Sleep does sound good. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Absolutely. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Yay, sleep darts. Let's talk with Emily a little bit. Oh, never mind. She's, she's chilling with her book. She'd rather not be disturbed. <laughs> Let's go talk with Sokolov, shall we? The Ascendancy Circle has chosen T. Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, was a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? 
Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so well. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress, the very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Didn't, didn't he get the thing about the rats? Maybe he'll talk to me. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Hmm. 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 Decisions, decisions. You know, this guy, all right, so he doesn't see himself as an evil man. Let's, let's find out more about this Sokolov guy rather than just feeding him to the rats. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. Not entirely sure. What are you thinking, Corvo? All right, looks like I gotta go talk to Piero then. <laughs> she doing, Piero? I know it looks. I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. <laughs> You're not a very good liar. A little bit weirded out by this whole thing. We'd rather you didn't I spy on people. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Yeah, Piero. You're a monster. People's privacy is important. Okay? Oh my. <laughs> I actually know what her name is. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious All event right. and well, will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Why did you buy it if you hate the taste? Cool. How much are you selling it for? 150? Got quite a lot at this point. You know, 150, it's a drop in the bucket. How much does the stealth cost? It seems really good. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that immediately. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get boot stealth too as well. Bone charm capacity also seems quite good. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. Because I've got a lot of bone charms that aren't, like, don't suck, you know? 
And let's grab that. Let's grab some sleep bolts. Carry around seven of them. Other than that, we seem to be good. Pleasure doing business with you, Piero. You, you take it easy now. Stop spying on people. Maybe just ask her out someplace nice instead of looking at her creepily through the bathroom door. I could use a drink. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to Just be introduced that she's the one to her ass. ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, We'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. What is this doing? I don't want to accidentally, like, sick rats on him or something. But I feel like I need to find out what this does. I still have no clue. Whatever. What up, I Lord Pendleton? Off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. We'll see. Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Let us go. Give me the skinny, Samuel. stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the flow of quality. That's you and me. Oh, dear. Alright, we don't want no part of that. Bust out the heart. We note a room. There's a little magic. You know I do magic, right? It's not news to you. Alright, there's mad hagfish over here. That tall boy's up there, there's a rat king, rat swarm. Alright, we're just gonna do a lot of blinking here. Whenever we get bitten by hagfish, we will blink. Actually, we know we're about to get bitten by hagfish, so... Isn't there? Can you not use the heart when you're in the water? Did I 
I'm guessing you just can't use the heart when you're in the water.